LDBC. Boy, y'all see this right here. Well, can't say I didn't tell you. I can't say that <clears throat> you wasn't warned. I think everybody on the planet knew what was going to happen around Garcia. And even Tank predicted when he was going to knock him out. Tank said he was going to knock him out. I'm going to say between the sixth and eighth round. I mean, I don't know. Listen, none of us, anybody with half a brain that understands the sport of boxing, we knew we knew Ryan Garcia wasn't winning this fight. And the only reason why I'm talking about this fight, because it is a golden boy fight, <laughs> because, again, it just makes Oscar De La Hoya look bad. And anything that shames Oscar De La Hoya, I'm in on it. Now, have Ryan Garcia won this fight? Hell no. And then talk about it. <laughs> Guys, I hate Golden Boy. That's just what it is, okay? I'm going to try to go into my afterthoughts mode. I'm going to try to. It's going to be tough for this because it is a Golden Boy event. So, those of y'all that love my afterthoughts, please forgive me. Um, listen, I looked at this fight and I started wondering, what the hell is Tank doing? What is he doing? Like, it just seems like Tank was playing with this guy. Like, playing with him. He was in there smiling and grinning and cheesing. And I'm like, what is he doing? Ryan caught Tank with one good shot, but Tank seemed to absorb it well and just came right back. And I said, really, what is Tank doing? Then I figured it out. Tank want to take this guy in the rounds, and Tank want to hurt this guy. Like, like legit, Tank wanted to hurt him. He just didn't want to knock him out. Because me, I think Tank could have ended this fight pretty much whenever he wanted to. Because after he dropped him in the second round, you begin to see Tank box even more. Even more, like it's almost like he's trying to prolong this fight. He's trying to prolong this fight because he, he want to whoop this man's ass. And really, that's what Tank Davis did. You can try to disagree with me all you want to. I'm not listening, okay? Tank Davis whooped this boy's ass. Tank whooped his ass. We knew that this is what was going to happen to Ryan Garcia. We already knew. Folks, it didn't take a rocket science. Ryan Garcia, very stationary. Okay? Flat-footed. He got fast hands. Those are his attributes. Hands are fast, but boy, the man is not defensively responsible. He's easy to hit. Very easy to hit. This is one of Tank's easiest fights. One of his easier fights. I mean, Ryan Garcia didn't know how to effectively use his range. The man got hand speed, didn't know how to use a range. So what do you do? What do you do? What do you do to a guy that's got all these tools? And Ryan Garcia got tools. Okay, Let, let's not get it twisted and say that just because this kid's a little weird that he don't have tools. Ryan Garcia got many tools. But the thing is, he don't know how to use all of his tools. See, instead of, you know, going back and forth with Oscar De La Hoya, if, it, if Oscar was my promoter, you know, minus the fishnets, the kitchen utensils, and the spatulas, okay? If he was my promoter, I would actually be trying to get gym time with this guy in there every chance I get. I just wouldn't do it at his house. But I would be trying to get gym time in with Oscar any chance I get. I mean, the man fought everybody. Even if you don't like Oscar, I can't stand his ass. But I have to be objective in the video. I have to be objective. Oscar De La Hoya fought every damn body. Oscar didn't give a crap. He fought them all. Okay? I would be in there having this guy work with me side by side. Hey, that's just me. You got all these people that you look up to in boxing. Well, look up to them some more. Tell them to help you. Tell them to get you straight. Tell them to get you going in the right direction. I just think, to me, I think Ryan Garcia... How do I put this? How do I put this? Ryan Garcia, he reminds me of Jake Paul. Like, it's almost like, you know, he just wants to entertain. I don't get that feel that Ryan Garcia is, like, really, truly, like, bleeding, sweating, and dying for the sport of boxing. I almost think that Ryan Garcia is trying to look pretty for boxing, but not get ugly for the sport. Y'all know, if you understand what I say, what, what I mean. I feel like Ryan Garcia wants to be pretty in boxing, but don't want to get ugly and do the dirty things that you do for boxing. That's what I think. I think when Ryan work out, it's pretty much a show. 
Y'all remember uh, in Rocky 2 when Rocky had to fight uh, uh, Clubber Lane. And then Rocky, you know, started getting a big head and started doing all this crazy stuff, having girls at the gym and, you know, just like half training and Apollo Creed and everybody trying to tell Rocky, look, man, you got to get in here. This guy's hungry. This guy's crazy. And, you know, Rocky was kind of like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, and Rocky didn't take Clubber Lane serious and Rocky got his ass whooped. Well, I think Ryan knew Tank could fight. I think Ryan went in there with the mindset, okay, well, I'm going to make this money. I'm going to get a payday. Um, I don't think Ryan believed, if this makes sense, I don't think he believed that he was going to beat Tank. I just think that Ryan was there to entertain. And that's what he does. Ryan Garcia entertains. Tank Davis is, is about that life. Unfortunately, he is. Tank Davis is, he's about that life. Um, and when Tank was talking about, yeah, you know, I got to be careful with Ryan Hands, it's more or less Tank trying to sell the fight. Because Tank didn't really believe that. And you have to listen to him because in the press, in the press conference, when he got face to face, he told Ryan, man, I can take you out whenever I want to. And Tank told him, you ain't sh. He said, I can put you out any damn time I choose to. I can get you out of there. I can get you out of there. And he said, I am going to get you out of there. He, and, Tank, and Tank said, I'm going to make it look easy. Like Tank got in there, boxed the hell out of this guy. Boxed him. <laughs> when, when have we seen Tank stick and move a lot of times? He do it with guys that are physically bigger. And I feel like Ryan was a little bit bigger than Tank. But man, 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 man. Tank Davis put on a boxing clinic. He put on a boxing clinic. And you know, I don't know guys, when people start talking about Tank Davis and Devin Haney, and I don't think people are quick to say that Devin Haney would go in there and school Tank. I, I don't know, I don't know about that. I think Tank Davis is dangerous. I think Tank is dangerous as hell. And I believe that Tank pretty much has what it takes to beat those guys. Now, am I saying he'll beat them? No, I don't. I'm not saying he's going to beat them, but you know what? <laughs> it's a 50-50 fight between him, Devin, and Shakur. It's a 50-50 fight. Now, Teofimo Lopez, uh, he can't beat nobody. But them three is 50-50. Straight up 50-50. Um, I do have to give a shout out. Like, uh, at least Ryan Garcia, he knew the danger. At least he wanted to fight team. For whatever his reasons were, I don't care. There are a lot of people getting on this fight. Uh, Tank could have fought somebody more difficult. Tank could have, look, man, Ryan Garcia was thought to be, you know, one of the best fighters in the world. Tank Davis was thought to be one of the best fighters in the world. And the two guys wanted to fight. They physically wanted to fight each other. And that's what made this really, that's what made this great, is that they wanted to fight each other. They, they, they wanted to be about that life. They wanted to fight each other. They wanted to, and, and the fight happened, okay? We're gonna get a lot of fights this year in boxing, I, I'm, I'm sure. Boxing is probably starting to finally listen to the fans for a change, finally. But what does Ryan Garcia need to do next? Um, well, stop making up these excuses like hydration. Come on, man, come on, come on. See, don't y'all find this funny? When Oscar De La Hoya had to fight Floyd Mayweather, you know, Oscar, <laughs> they had all the advantages. Oscar did the same thing to Floyd. Made Floyd, you know, put a bunch, put a pair of 10 ounce gloves on. Like was telling him like the ring size and all this other mess. Like crazy, all the things that they dictated to Floyd and Floyd just said, okay. Floyd said, okay, I do all that because I know I can beat you. You can put any, you can put any kind of a, uh, whatever you want for this fight, but I'll beat you. And that's what Floyd did. So the A side has always been in charge of negotiations. Everybody acting like, well, Tank being a coward for putting a hydration clause. The A side, they're always in charge of that kind of stuff. That's that's been how boxing has worked forever and ever. Okay, and people act like this is something new that these guys are just going at. No, 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 no. Okay, the hydration that was not going to affect the outcome of the fight. The outcome of the fight was still going to be the same. Ryan Garcia was going to get his ass knocked out. That's what was going to happen. And, and guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm not calling Tank stupid. Okay? 
I don't think Tank Davis gave a damn what was in the clause. I think Tank just wanted to fight. I think that that was Leonard Ellaby and Mayweather Promotions negotiating, okay? Or, you know, scratch that. It was Tank, Tank's team that was giving all these negotiations. I don't think Tank verbally himself was talking about, hey, uh, hydration clause. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I just, I can't see this guy trying to do complex things in life. I, I can't see it. His team was doing that, but I don't, I don't think Tank gave a F. <laughs> I don't think he gave a fuck. I think Tank just wanted to go in there and fight. And that's what it is. That's what it is. I think Tank wanted to go in and fight and show that he could knock this guy out. But Tank knew it. This was a lick. It was an easy lick for Tank. And when Ryan Garcia was calling Tank out, Tank was laughing. He like, man, I'm going to hurt this boy. And guys, all you Ryan Garcia fans, whether you like it or don't like it, listen, you're going to have to learn, love, learn to love it. Like it, don't like it, learn to love it. Ryan Garcia quit. I, I, all you trying to justify, man, you ever get hit in the liver? Yeah, I've been hit in the liver. It hurt. You can choose to get up or you can choose to stay down. It's up to you. Oh, your body paralyzed. Well, you know, <laughs> he got up. He just got up after the count. Ryan Garcia quit. Okay, he's a quitter. Ryan Garcia quit. Okay, and, 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 and you know, uh, yeah, the body shots can be devastating. But he wasn't in the, in the body shot that it was paralyzed. He was still moving. Ryan Garcia knew that if he got up, Tank was going to beat the hell out of him. And I'm talking about, like, put him to sleep. Tank was going to put this boy to sleep and have Ryan Garcia got up. And Ryan Garcia knew what, what time it was. He knew what was going to happen. Tank was going to run over there, pounce on him, and beat him down. And Ryan Garcia didn't want to, he didn't want to live with that. You know, the man had his mom and his girlfriend in the audience. He didn't want all, the, all of them to see him get his ass whooped like that. That's what was about to happen. He's already getting his ass whooped anyway. That was going to happen. See, I think, and, and, and I'm going to close with this. I think that, you know, <laughs> boxing. They wanted to bring back one of the oldest rivalries in boxing. They wanted to bring back Mayweather De La Hoya for this generation. They wanted to. The only thing with Mayweather De La Hoya is that Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya, they were true, they, they were tough. They were very tough. And they went in there and they took immense amounts of punishment. Even though Floyd will tell you, hey, it ain't cool to take punishment. Floyd done been brutalized in the ring before. He done been hit. And those guys, they were warriors. Tank Davis is a warrior. Ryan Garcia, he's not a warrior. He's not a warrior at all. Now he fights the wars in the mirror in the morning. <laughs> he fights those wars. But Ryan Garcia, he's not a warrior. Guys, come on. When you think about a boxer who's a warrior, a warrior in the ring, does Ryan Garcia pop up? Come on, did Ryan Garcia go out on the shield? He didn't really go out on the shield. A fighter that'll go out on their shield, they'll face that knockout. They'll face it. That's what's going to happen. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. Now, we can say Ryan played it safe and he lived to fight another day. That's absolutely right. The man played it safe. Hey, he lives to fight a whole other day. Nobody got any issues with that. Nobody, you know, hey, that's fine. But call it what it is. Don't lie about it. Don't lie about it. Don't lie and say that, that Ryan Garcia was smart and... You know, the liver shots will shut your body down. And nah, don't give him that excuse. Don't give him that because that's not the excuse he should get. That ain't what he should get. No, this man quit. He quit. Plain and simple. This man quit. <laughs> and there's nothing. And the coach means nothing you can do about that. He quit. Ryan Garcia quit in the ring. He quit. They quit. There's nothing else that we can say. But we can't say this, though. He can have millions of followers on Instagram. <laughs>